Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of Core Java. In this session, we are going to revisit the concept which we have already discussed, that is objects. What we have discussed so far is what is an object. So, what is the definition? Object is instance of a class which has got state and behavior. State is represented by the property values, whichever are available for that particular object. And behavior is nothing but the methods which are available for that particular object. For one class, we can create multiple objects. So this is what we have already seen. Now we are going to discuss a next part of how can we create objects. So basically there are three ways in which we can create object of a Java class. So the first way of object creation is by reference variable. Second is by method and third is by construct. So when we say initialization through reference, so this is the way how we can create a class. So there is a class named as student. It has got two properties, role number and name. So we will create a reference of student class and we can initialize that particular object variables or the properties by using reference of that particular class. So student is a reference of class student and this is the object and using dot operator we can access the properties and through the reference initialization of the object can be done. So this is how object can be initialized. The second way of initialization of object is through method. So there is a method named as create student and we will be passing parameters to that particular function and these parameters will be passed or stored in the properties for that particular object and in this way the object will be initialized. So here two student objects are created and create student method is called. These parameters are passed to the method and then these parameters will be stored in the current instance whichever is created. So this is the second method how we can initialize a particular object. And the third way of initializing the data members which we have already discussed is by using constructor. So we can specify constructor for a, a specific class, one or multiple constructor. And within that constructor, we can assign values for the properties or uh, variables of that particular object and specify the state of that object. Constructor we have already discussed. We can pass the parameters to the constructor and we can assign these values into the variables for that particular object. Next concept which we are going to discuss over here is anonymous object. Now what is anonymous object? Anonymous object is basically an object which does not have name. Now what is the syntax of creating an object is class name, object name, equal to new and the call to the construct. By declaring a reference, we are giving name to that particular object. So when I say student, student one. So student one is the reference equal to new object. So whatever object of student class is created, there is a reference for that particular object and name of that reference is student one. 
by using that name of the object i can reuse that created object however whenever we are creating an object but we don't assign any reference to it such object is termed as anonymous object so we are going to create that like here it is shown new student so the object is created but i cannot refer that particular object after creation i can access i can use this particular object only when it is created at the time of object creation so two object creation is shown over here like a new student no reference i cannot use that object further new calculator but there is no reference so i cannot use that particular object further so this is nothing but anonymous object when should we use anonymous object whenever there is no reusability of the object like say for example there is a class which has got methods and i need to call those methods after object creation so i will create a reference which will hold the object and i can use that particular uh, object further in my application but when it comes about i just need to create an object only once and it is not going to be used in that case we can create anonymous objects so this is all about additional part related to objects thank you